over the winter, once the snow melted, we saw that every single one of our fruit trees in the front yard had been girdled. And so all of the bark from, depending on the tree, the bottom, like six to 18 inches, um, has been eaten by what we think are shrews because there's piles of tiny poop underneath them. And our yard is now covered in little holes. We're gonna be trying to do what's called a bridge graft. We've never done this before. And so we're gonna see what we can do to save these trees. This apple tree will be our first attempt. So we dug out down to the bark line where there was salvageable bark. Um, and then from here, we're gonna be doing what's called a bridge graft, which is where you use a scion or a piece of wood from the upper branches of the tree um, to connect the viable bark at the bottom to the bark at the top. Hey, so I'm out working on these bridge grafts. And here's the one I'm working on right now. Um, you can see the bark right here. Um, there's moisture down there just because I had to dig a little trench around it to get to enough usable bark. What I'm using here, I've got, this is actually just a sharp kitchen knife and vinyl stretch tie and a tree pruning seal sealer. These are far from beautiful, but this is what I've got. So I did three, one, two, three on the other side. So on the top of each, you can see there's a seam here where I shoved the branch in. And then same thing on the bottom. Now I know that this one, this one uh, kind of came apart. But I'm going to take some tape and wrap everything really tight. And once I wrap it tight, then this is going to be coming in. And it will all have make, be making contact with each other. So the graft scion open end will touch um, the cuts that I made once I wrap it tight with tape. Wrapped everything nice and tight. Um, it's not beautiful everywhere but I'm pretty confident that I've got a tight enough wrap here so that I've got good enough contact with the um, the graft and the tree so now I'm gonna go ahead and use the pruning sealant this is a cherry plum and it's never actually given us fruit yet I think it's been in the ground here for about four or five years maybe it's about eight feet tall and this one got hit particularly hard um, by the voles I don't have a lot of hope for this one as you can see it has even started to, to dry out and crack um, because we weren't able to get to it fast enough but I'm gonna go ahead and start by grabbing some of the the smaller uh, thinner branches from up at the top and see if I can find enough branches that are that length, which is probably 18 inches or so. There's a little part here where I've got about an inch or two of bark, but I'm going to have to dig underneath the ground and get closer to the rootstock on this one because there's just not enough to work with. So first I'm taking these branches that I just um, took from the top of the tree and I'm cleaning them up, getting rid of all the um, little new growth bud areas. And I just did the, just did the same thing at the top, do a vertical slit, a little horizontal slit, and then tuck the knife in underneath to open up that pocket. Then I take my scion piece, what I'm going to be doing the bridge graft with, and I um, remove some of the bark at an angle at the bottom and at the top. And now I'm going to tuck this into the pocket that I just made at the bottom and at the top. And then 
I'm using a chunk of wood as a tripod. I'm gonna cut here, a vertical bark, and then a horizontal. And try to get my knife in that vertical. And just create a little bit of room for the graft to slide into. And make in a little pocket or a pouch. I am doing all seven fruit trees right now in our front yard because they all got attacked by bulls. That's what I just made. So that's what it looks like in the bottom. And then we're going up to the top. And that's what the top looks like. Once I uh, wrap this really well, then it's all gonna be uh, forced into place. So it'll be a, a snug fit once it's wrapped. And then it'll be uh, airtight too. There's the wrapping on the top. Out of the seven trees that we ended up needing to do the bridge graft on, six of them survived. Five of them are very, very happy and have given us full blossoms. This is a Norland apple tree. It's got apples all over the place starting. But then in comparison, this state fair apple, um, I think it's so it survived, but it is very stressed out because as you can see, it didn't get any leaves. It's just all blossoms, um, which is pretty wild to look at. It's now mid-August and this tree is doing phenomenal. It's got so many tiny apples all over it. And this is the same tree that got completely girdled. Um, it's, its bark got girdled by some sort of pest. Um, only a matter of months ago and now it's made what looks like full recovery and it is very happy and this is a Norland apple tree growing in Anchorage Alaska thank you so much for watching and good luck uh, with your own grafting projects bye